everyone, it's Cameron Frost here with Handmade Soap Decadence and I'm going to be making blue sugar today, which is the men's soap to the pink sugar. So let's just get on with it. I've got my gloves on, I've got my goggles on. I'm going to blitz my oils because my clay and clay and oatmeal and soy powder are in there. Tussa silk, but it's raw tussa silk um, that hasn't been treated or anything. So you get the odd leaf and twig in it, which is fine as long as you strain it out. fine meshed sieve so the lilac will be getting caught and stopping the rest of the water from coming out. Let's see if we can get it out this way. Forgot to pre-strain it. A lot of the times I pre-strain it before I start doing it. I forgot. Now done. Right, so let's get this blitz up. Let's hope it looks alright on this. Now I was getting my colours ready. Well, choosing my colours. I didn't get you to get them ready. traces quite quickly because it's so cold. Okay, this is my cream mix which is mentioned before um, buttermilk, yogurt, double cream, rice powder, coconut cream in my oils already. It's easier to do that in the oils this when I um, since I've started straining it, it's easier to do it with the oils rather than with the butters. <coughs> so the coconut cream's already in there. And these are the rest of my butters, cocoa butter, shea butter. Lovely, lovely, lovely. a bit before. 
I started, so it started to try and send it by again. But it will be fine. Give all those lovely butters out, far too expensive to be wasting. some off <clears throat> so I can uh, do my blue. I'm going to reuse these that I had my butters and coconut cream in. So in one of them I'm going to be doing, um, what's this again, ultramarine blue, or a light blue, with some TD. Um, my ultramarine blue was mixed with this ring and my TD is mixed with water. Oh yeah, it's thickening up because it's cold and obviously when it sits still for a little while, it will try and thicken up. Just grab a spoon, get some cocoa powder in here. I 
add the fragrance in at the same time because once this is mixed in I'll be moulding up straight away so that's not a problem. Add the fragrance. Oh, it smells very nice. doing that lately. Um, I've only doing it for any of my videos, the last few videos at least, the fragrance descriptions. So I shall put the fragrance descriptions in my videos from now on. I've still got to upload my black orchid soap and my pink sugar soap. So I shall put fragrance descriptions in those videos too because I am crap at describing fragrances as you all well know. So sugar actually, sugar is very good for the skin too. I mean me. Because you're not actually here to help me, are you? No, you're just watching. Oh, good to me just watching. I need you here helping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love watching soaping videos. I must say, I am quite addicted. I watch those instead of telly. As Hubby's watching telly, I'm watching soaping videos on YouTube. And obviously he cannot understand that. He's like, but you know how to make soap. Why are you watching other people making soap? You know how to make soap. I'm like, well, it's not that I'm trying to learn anything. I just enjoy the process. And he just, yeah, doesn't get it. But I know you soapers out there know what I'm talking about. And even you soapy fans know what I'm talking about. It's just nice to see the process, isn't it? if I'll get to the stage where I won't want to upload videos because um, I'm sure you get to the stage where you've you know, remade and made and remade and made the same soap over and over again and it's like well would you want to put that on again and again and again the same soap but I suppose well I like to watch other people make the same soap over and over again. That doesn't bother me at all. But like I said, it's the process. So I don't actually get bored of watching other people do it. So, mm, yeah. In that case, I probably will carry on. Uh, right, I've just got a little Crafters Choice mold. Mold. Speak properly, Karen. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. 
So yeah, little crafter's choice mould. If you want to know what one it is, it's the regular loaf mould uh, 0501. But I've got to do more. So, everywhere up and up to size. I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it? Right, let's drop some of this. Let's get this light blue a stir. Get some of that in. And it's got in. I'm not sure how well you're seeing this. I've put a couple of lamps on as well as the overhead light because it is a disgustingly wet and rainy day and it's like winter again. But with the heating on, I'm like so depressed. I spent most of the summer in hospital, so it's like uh, I feel like I haven't had summer. And now it's winter. And I'm like, oh, come on, really? I've <sighs> got to wait until next year for another summer? Come on. But I suppose I shouldn't really complain. I'm alive against quite a few. 
obstacles. Um, so yeah, I am grateful to still be alive. Of course, that was a miracle. Ugh, both of my hands are cracking now. Oof. so frustrating when your body does things that your mind doesn't want it to do. Extremely frustrating. And I am not going to swirl it with the chopstick this time either. I'm quite liking the drop swirls. So I'm sticking with those right now. I'm going to do another tie as well. Soon too. Yeah, probably hands or two. Bubbles up. And I can see one that has come up, so I'm going to pop it. Haha! Couple more, let's pop them. Right, let's get the rest of my topping on. And it's always best to do your dark colour first with your light colour on top. Actually I'm going to do this side by side. I was going to do them straight down the middle. Changed my mind. I'm going to do them side by side. I'm not doing a height up on this. It's going to be a flat top. So I should just run the skewer through it. And obviously, I'm going to be using glitter for it is a man's soap. I am talking quietly and I'm hoping the camera's picking me up. You guys can actually hear me because that would be quite frustrating, wouldn't it? What if you're in this video and you can't hear me? I know that's annoying when you can't hear what someone's saying. I do apologise. It's hard to talk loud when you're here by yourself. I kind of feel foolish. You don't really want to speak up loud. You want to speak quietly because you're here by yourself and you sound like a fool because you're talking to yourself. <sighs> yes. I am completely out of practice with the whole video making. Let's get this blue in. This is the Thai kitchen part, mixing the colours and then getting all the soap out at the end after you've poured those last little dregs out. This takes quite a bit of time. So if I'm boring you, please fast forward. Not a problem. Because I will never stop scraping. Not for all the tea in China. My OCD would never let me. Anywho. Plus I don't like wasting. So. There you go. And of course. 
bottles, raw soap down your drain, will only clog it. Not a good idea. So the more you get out, the better it is. And you don't actually wash them in there until they have saponified after 24 hours and then give them a soap and put them in the dishwasher and Bob's your uncle. Lovely dubby. Done. Let's give this another. Chopper stick. Okay, should I do a figure of eight or just up and down? I'll yeah, do a figure of eight. Now I'm only going a little bit in, not far in at all. That's going to annoy me. So I need to just tidy this up a little bit. I don't like it coming over the edge like that. Now well, I can tidy it up after it's saponified. And just you know get that off with the potato peeler. But I'd rather not do too much of that. It to be clean and tidy wherever possible. And there we have it. Blue sugar for the men. It smells gorgeous. If you like this video, please go ahead and click the thumbs up button. Um, I found out recently that clicking the thumbs up button helps the videos um, appear higher up in the searches. So if you would mind clicking that for me so that um, more people get to see my videos, I'd appreciate that very much. And, uh, you know, share it on your social media like Google Plus and Facebook and whatever else there is out there. I'm not on very many myself. But here we are. Blue sugar. Now oh, let's my lamp up here. This looks pro look at it. So that's all I've got for now. I haven't um, decided what soap I'm going to make next, but when I do, you'll know about it. So thanks for watching and take care now, peeps. Bye. Here it is, out of the mold. Hope you can see that. So let's get this cut. I'm not going to do any end pieces on this, I'll just plane the sides. <coughs> that way I'll just get a full amount of bars out of it. Because it's not a huge amount. And here's the first slice. And you can see it's starting to get darker around the edges. But it's pretty. Hope everyone's well. 
I still haven't decided what soap I'm going to make next. Still having a think about that. So I'm thinking about doing a slab and doing Japanese cherry blossom. Uh, I'm not sure if that's what I'm going to do yet. There you go. Japanese cherry blossom is normally done in the summer, but I kind of missed most of the summer, and I just want to make what I want to make. There we go. Let's get the next slice ready. love the way this came out. It came out really lovely. Very pretty. Sort of wispy swirls inside. Not too much colour inside. Looks really nice. struggling with migraines this week so this has been sitting for more days than I would usually let it sit but it's not caused a problem at all. Still cutting really nicely. See, I'm so out of practice, absolutely out of practice. So I can cut this because this is quite a sizable chunk. I'm going to actually I'm going to cut it into three. So I wasn't actually going to do sample pieces because I thought maybe I got my measurements wrong. These are just being little sample pieces. So that's all I've got for now, and I will see you again soon. So take care, peeps. Bye for now.